Hey, how you guys doing? I am so excited because we are here and it's January 1 of the 21 Days of Encouragement, the Life Series. I'm so excited about this year. It's now 2013. We've made it into a new year by the grace of God. And I know God is going to do some great things this year. I just want to welcome all of our West Coast viewers who are joining us now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And all of our return viewers and who are joining in again with us, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. Now, we do have our own Facebook page. You can find it at 21 Days of Encouragement on Facebook. You can also subscribe to our YouTube page. So like the Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, hit us up on Twitter. We're everywhere that you need us to be so you can leave comments prayer requests all of that great stuff and we are excited to have you along with us thank you guys so much we check all of those daily hourly so just hit us up it comes directly to the phone so we get all of that now listen this is the life series that we're going to do here and so we're going to deal with real life issues things that people kind of try and sweep under the rug people things that people deal with but don't know how to talk about or how to 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 get resolved uh, from so we're going to deal with those things and so I won't dilly dally or delay any longer but we're going to go today to Genesis chapter 39 and I'm reading from the Holman Christian Standard Bible uh, which says this uh, Genesis 39 verse 1 it says now Joseph had been taken to Egypt uh, an Egyptian named Potiphar an official an officer of Pharaoh and captain of the guard brought him from the Ishmaelites who had brought him there. The Lord was with Joseph and he became a successful man serving in the household of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him uh, and the Lord made everything he did successful, Joseph found favor in his master's sight and became his personal attendant. Potiphar also put him in charge of his household and placed all that he owned under his authority from that from the time that he put him in charge of the household and all that he owned the Lord blessed the Egyptians house because of Joseph the Lord's blessing was on all that he owned in house and in his fields he left all that he owned under Joseph's authority he did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. Now Joseph was well built and handsome and after after some time his master's wife looked longingly at Joseph and said sleep with me. Now I'm gonna stop right there because there's something important that I want to deal with. You see a lot of us or some of us in our relationships uh, and this is more so maybe geared toward the men, but it can go toward the women as well. But we find ourselves in positions where uh, we, we, we get so wrapped up and so tied up and tangled up with our work that we forget about our home. We forget about our families and our other things that we may have going. And we get so wrapped up in work that we forget about everything else. And then there are other people in our lives who start to feel neglected. Here... We see Potiphar's wife, uh, as the scripture says here uh, in verse 7, it says, after some time, his master's wife looked longingly at Joseph. That means she began to look at him longing for him, longing for a touch that she hasn't felt in a while, longing for a love that hasn't been shown to her in a while because her husband was always away working. So what I want to encourage you to do is remember I know it's important to work, we have to pay bills and all that kind of stuff, but what good is paying the bills and doing all of this work if you don't take time to enjoy those who are around you, to enjoy life itself? So let me just encourage you, don't get so wrapped up in work that you neglect everything and everyone else. There's an important lesson to be learned here. Let me pray for you. Father God, we come to you, Lord, saying thank you. Father God, we thank you for uh, this series. Father God, we thank you for this, this life series. And we thank you, Father God, for life in 2013, oh God. 
Father, we know that you are going to do some amazing things, and we thank you for what it is that you're doing. And now, Father God, we just pray, Father God, that you would help us, O oh God, that we not become workaholics, O oh God, and that we not, Father God, get so wrapped up in, in trying to pay bills and take care of things that we forget about those around us, O oh God. Father God, I pray that you would help us to be more conscious of others' feelings, Father God, uh, who are around us, Father God. It's in Jesus' name that I pray that you would just work on these things in our hearts, Father God. Help us, Father God, as we work on these things. It's in Jesus' name I pray. We love you, Lord. Amen. I pray that today was a blessing for you. This has been day one of the 21 days of encouragement. Come on back for day two. We're going deeper. Love you.